What's up guys, Max from Marlon Gamer here, and today we're going to be looking at playing PC games with an Xbox controller. So this came about because I was actually playing Warzone and someone noticed I was playing on PC but with a controller and they asked why. So it's not because I don't have a keyboard or mouse, because I have a pretty okay-ish mouse and I've got a pretty decent keyboard. It actually, it's because I have arthritis. Got it quite a few years ago, got it quite young, and a controller is just so much easier and more comfortable to play with. So I've got the Elite controllers because I've got the paddles at the bottom, makes stuff a little bit easier. However, there are still quite a few games that are a bit tricky to play, and we're going to check some of them out today. So our first game is Apex Legends. Now this game actually plays really well with the controller. They've definitely put in a bit of work to make this whole game a lot more controller friendly than some of the other games on our list. And uh, yeah, you can definitely get those kills with a controller. There's definitely a bit of a, a handicap when you're playing with a controller. But it's not too bad, and um, I actually quite enjoy this game with a controller, so this is a definite yes. Up next we have Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Now there's another title that plays beautifully with a controller. It's super easy to play with a controller, and Ubisoft has just figured it out. Most of their recent games play really well if you're playing with a controller, and this is a definite, definite yes from me. So up next we have Battlefield 1, now this is definitely a game where it's a bit more tricky, there's absolutely no aim assist, and uh, there is a massive advantage if you're playing with keyboard and mouse, and if you're on a controller it takes a lot of skill and quite a bit of getting used to, so this one is a nope from me. So Battlefield 1 single player is definitely a lot easier to play, if you're playing against AI it's actually quite doable. I had a bit of fun playing it, uh, I've actually never played the single player, I've never played the War Stories, and I've had the game since launch on both platforms, so on Xbox and on, on PC, and I've just never gotten around to it. So I had a bit of fun and I actually quite enjoyed it, so this game is a yes, but only in the single player. Up next we have Battlefield 5, and it has the exact same flaws as Battlefield 1, it seems that EA DICE just didn't make any changes. There's still no aim assist for multiplayer, even like a slight aim assist would have been appreciated, but there's absolutely nothing. So this is a game that's definitely more for keyboard and mouse, and if you're playing this with a controller, you're going to find yourself uh, having a bad time at times, like it's sometimes just not enjoyable. Though there are some players that are quite skilled, there's some players that have some ungodly skills that get them to the top of the leaderboard with a controller, but I'm definitely not one of them. And some other people are also going to struggle, so I'm going to give this game a nope for the multiplayer. So up next is Battlefield 5 single player. Now this one is definitely playable with a controller. Just like Battlefield 1's single player, it's quite easy to play with a controller. I didn't have much difficulty with it. I would say that it is mainly because you're playing against AI. So yeah, that makes stuff just so much easier. But yeah, it's definitely a yes from me for this title. Up next we have City Skylands, and if you are getting it through the Xbox Game Pass, then it is quite playable with a controller. However, if you're like many others and you bought it on Steam, then you're kind of out of luck because it has zero controller support. Up next we have Diablo 3. Now this is a title where you would expect there to be some sort of controller support because it actually plays really well on console. However, there is absolutely no integration, and that's just a massive shame for this title. So up next is F1 2019, and this is just a game that plays really well with a controller, like there's absolutely zero issues. It plays a lot nicer than with a keyboard, and this one gets a massive thumbs up from me. So the next title is a bit of a controversial one, because let's be honest, this game was an absolute shit show at launch, and it was a terrible, terrible game. And, you know, it's gotten a little bit better now with the Wastelanders uh, expansion, as you would say. But this one plays really well with the controller. You could play Fallout 4 quite well with the controller. And this one is, well, it's pretty much just Fallout 4, isn't it? So this one can get a thumbs up. Up next, we have Far Cry New Dawn. And the super colorful game has, well, probably some of the best controller support. Which is kind of expected, seeing as uh, it's another Ubisoft title. And they've just nailed the controller support for games. So this one is a definite yes with a controller. Up next we have Ghost Recon Breakpoint, and now this is a game I've actually never played, I've owned it since it launched, but uh, I never got around to it. And yeah, it plays also quite well with the controller, also once again a Ubisoft title, so this one's another thumbs up in our list. 
Uh, up next we have Ghost Recon's Wildlands, and this is another one of those games that plays really well on PC with the controller, which is not surprising as it's another Ubisoft title. I played loads of it on Xbox, and it's exactly the same on PC, but with vastly superior graphics. Now I enjoyed this game so much with a controller on a PC that I just gave it two thumbs up. Hell Let Loose is just straight up frustrating as it is, and it comes as no surprise that there is no controller support for this game on PC. All you can really do with the controller is turn your character, and yeah, that's just not enough for this game. So this one gets another thumbs down. Up next, we have Kingdom Come Deliverance. Now, this is a game that I've actually never played. I've owned it for a while. Like some of my other games, I just never got around to it. So it does play quite easily with the controller. I just played a bit around in the tutorial section, and as you can see, it's quite doable. So this one gets a big thumbs up. Then we have the 2020 release of Resident Evil, so there's Resident Evil 3, and this one's actually a really good game to play with the controller, I quite enjoyed it, I found it quite easy, I didn't think there were any issues with it, so I would definitely recommend this title if you want to play with the controller, so this one's another thumbs up. So up next we have Tomb Raider, now this is just a game that plays really well with the controller, even the previous title played really well with the controller and I played the entire game through actually with a controller on my PC. And uh, yeah, I highly highly recommend this one, this one is definitely a big thumbs up, and if you haven't played it yet, grab it, it's quite a worthwhile title to play. Up next we have the extreme winter sport game Steep from Ubisoft, so it's once again a Ubisoft title, so you know there's going to be good controller support. It plays really well, this is the kind of title, you know, you if you have a media PC, you throw it onto your big screen and you just sit on your sofa and you just carve some snow. It's really good, I recommend it, so another thumbs up. Up next we have Strange Brigade. Now this is a title you very rarely see in any reviews or any sort of benchmark kind of reviews of any hardware. But it's actually a really fun game to play, you can easily play this with a controller. This is the horde mode and it's actually kind of enjoyable and this one gets a thumbs up. Next we have The Division 2 and either you love it or you hate it but I really quite like this game and you know what Ubisoft have done fantastic again. Once again we have a shooter that well has good controller support. You don't see that with many of them this one works really really well and yeah I highly recommend it so another double thumbs up for this title. So up next we have Warzone, and now this is a title that just plays really easily with the controller on PC. It even has crossplay, which means you can play with your mates on PC, on PlayStation, and on Xbox. And yeah, it's just an all-round good title. I highly recommend it if you want to play a first-person shooter with a controller, then this is the one you should be looking at, and uh, plus it's free. So this one gets a double thumbs up too. And the final title that we're going to be looking at is World War Z, the third-person zombie shooter, and... Of course, it plays really well with the controller. Um, it's quite a lot of fun and it's quite easy to play, so you won't have any issues. You can even go up to the harder settings and still play quite uh, easily with it. So this one's also going to get a double thumbs up from me. So these aren't the only games that you can play with the controller. However, these are the games that I tested. And as you can see, a lot of them are very, very playable. There's a few, sadly, that aren't. And there's a few that are just frustrating. But in general, uh, more and more support is coming for controllers on PC. And it's uh, quite nice to see because especially with people that have disabilities or people like myself with arthritis, it's just a lot more comfortable than playing with keyboard and mouse. And yeah, I hope to see more titles in the future. If you have any titles that you would like to see tested, uh, you're more than welcome to comment in the comment section. And we'll see if we can get around to testing them next time. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, give us a thumbs down. There's nothing we can do about it. But if you want to see more from us in the future, then click the subscribe button and also the little bell icon and you'll get notified when we post a new video.